Hello friends, today we will be doing Math Kangaroo Level 1 and 2, Year 2021. In this video, we will be covering the three-point problems that is from question 1 to question 8. Uh, in a separate video, I'll cover the four pointers and in the third video, I'll cover the five pointers. So let's just start with the three-point questions. A kangaroo laid out three sticks like this. So this is the type of stick and he's laid out three sticks to make a shape. It's not allowed to break or bend the sticks. Which shape could the kangaroo make? Now, whenever we have a question, let's just see the options that I have. Which one can I eliminate? If you see option A, you have one, two, three, and a four. You have four sticks. It does not use three sticks. So A is not my answer. In case of B, you have one, two, three, and four. Again, you're using four sticks. So B is not my answer. In case of C, you have one, two, three, and four. Again, you have four sticks. So C is not my answer. D, one, two, three, and four. Again, in D, I'm using four sticks. So D is also not my answer. In case of E, one, two, and three, I'm using three sticks. So E is my answer. You can directly do E as well. But then whenever we are doing these visual questions, try the method of elimination, start eliminating. Option. So option for question one is option E. Question number two. In the kangaroo constellation, what do we mean by word constellation? Constellation is a group of stars. All stars have a great have a number greater than three, and their sum is 20, which is the kangaroo constellation. So what are the two conditions that all the numbers have to be greater than three? So greater than three means three or more. Uh, greater than 3 means uh, it is not equal to 3. It has to be greater than 3. So it will be 4, 5, 6, but not 3. Greater than 3, so it is not 3. And the sum is 20. So which is the kangaroo constellation? So which one can I straight away eliminate sums which are? If this one has 3, so A is not my answer. This one has 1. So again, this is not my answer. This one has 2, not my answer. Then even this one has a 2, so not my answer. See, actually, there's no point in adding them up and calculating 20. Like in this case, the sum is equal to 20, right? Even in this case, uh, the sum is equal to 19. In this case, the sum is equal to 20. But the other condition is all the stars. All the stars have a number greater than 3. Here it was 2, so it's not greater than 3. Here it was 1, not greater than 3. Here it was equal to 3, but then it has to be greater than 3, so not the answer. Similarly, in case of C, you have a 2 and 3, which are less than 3 or equal to 3, so not allowed. So the only option that I have is option B. Just check the total. 8 plus 7, do check for numbers which give you a 10 or a 15. So you have 8 plus 7, which is a 15. 15 plus 5 is a 20. So all the conditions that the numbers are greater than 3, all these numbers 5, 7, and 8 are greater than 3. And the sum is equal to 20. So my answer for question 2 is B. Let's read question number 3. Ella puts on this t-shirt and stands in front of the mirror. Which of these images does she see in the mirror? Whenever we are doing the mirror, it will always be like a lateral inversion. Whatever is on the right will appear on the left. So if this is on the right, uh, the mirror image will start with a 1. Right? So this is something that we need to understand. So the mirror image will start with 1. So what options can I eliminate? I can eliminate B and C. Right? So the mirror image will look like this. 1, 2, this one will be like this. And another 2. So it will look like a A. Even uh, you know, even if we don't understand this, look at these numbers, right? So whatever, in case of a mirror, whatever is happening to this two will also happen with this two. But if you see D, you know, this and this two are opposite. Similarly, this two and this two are opposite. So even if we don't understand mirror images, we can eliminate options and my answer will be option D. Question number four, on Michael's toy shelf, there are neither. Neither means it's not. There are neither turtles nor rabbits nor brown teddy bears. So on the toy shelf, you don't have turtles or rabbits or teddy bears. So which shelf? What is Michael's shelf? 
Now let's start eliminating options. Which one can I eliminate? So turtle, the first one is turtles. You have a turtle here, so this goes away. You have a turtle here, this goes away. And rabbit. So which one does it? Uh, do you have a rabbit? So you have a rabbit here, rabbit goes away. Or brown teddy bear, correct? Right? So brown teddy bear is this one. So this one also goes away. So which shelf is Michael's? It is number four. So it is option D. Question number five. Which of the paths shown in the picture is the longest? So which path is the longest? So we have to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is 15 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This one is 13 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This one has 12 units. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This one again has 12 units. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This one has 11 units. So which one has the largest number of units? It is option A. So my answer for question 5 is option A. Question number 6. Four identical pieces of paper are placed as shown. What do we mean by the word identical? Identical means exactly equal. Okay. Our uh, pieces of paper are placed as shown. Michael wants to punch a hole that goes through that goes through all the four pieces. At what point? At which point does Michael punch the hole? Now you have the options A, B, C, D, E. The condition is you punch a hole through any of these points. It has to pass through all the four pieces of paper. Now see, if you punch a hole through A, it will go through this one, this one, and this one. It will not go through this uh, paper. So A is not my answer. Similarly, if you punch through B, it will cover this one and this one. This one will be left out and this one will be left out. Right? So uh, B is also not my answer. Similarly, we try for C. If you see C, then what will happen? This will happen, this will happen, this will happen. This one will be left out. And now let's just try for D. If we do D, then this will happen, this will happen, this will happen, and this will happen. All of them are in a row. So my answer will be option D. Question number seven. These children are standing in a line. Some are facing forwards and others are facing backwards. So they are facing forward and this one is facing backward. How many children are holding another child's hand with their right hand? So the right hand is generally the hand with which we write. Most of the kids write with the right hand. So you can remember it that way. There are some kids who write with the left hands. So you can remember the left hand as the hand with which they write. Now in this case, so this is my right hand. This is the left hand. This is the right hand. This is the left hand. Now this is, you know, facing backwards. So this is the right hand, left hand. Now again, this is the right hand, left hand, right hand. Left hand, this one is right hand, left hand. Then hers is right hand and left hand. So if you see how many of them are holding hands with their right hands. So this is, this is one, this is two, three, four, five, and a six. So my answer is option E, six. Question number eight, the picture shows two mushrooms. What is the difference between their heights? So these are the mushrooms. You have to find the difference between the height. So this is 12. So let's just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So what is the height of this mushroom? This one is 6. And what is the height of this mushroom? 11. Now what is the difference between the height? 11 minus 6, which is a 5. So my answer is 5. Uh, so, these are the questions that we would be covering in this video. For the four pointers, please refer to my next video. I'll post a link in the description box. I hope you like this video. Do comment if you need solutions for any more papers. Thank you for watching and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.